Uh, Zardoz? Uh, glad you guys watched it. Uh, well, let's, let's, uh, let's get Spencer up because he was there for Yeah, a Spencer, come on up. Spencer, everybody. Why are you on I think my. Oh, I see what this contraption is. It's my fault that this thing. It's the worst. It was fiddling with this thing while. Kumail was. making points. Fiddling with the black iron staff, the entertainer twirls his expert fingers. <laughs> Spencer came out swinging. Fuck. You really how, how, many, how many of you have now seen Zardoz? By, by applause. By applause. Oh, wow. by applause. A good number of people. Now by Zarplause. <laughs> I don't know. The piece uh, is evil. The, yeah, the, the gun, gun is, is good. Evil. That movie's wild, man. I, but, but I have to say, I've watched that. I think I've tried to watch that movie at least four times. Last night, got through it. Didn't fall asleep. Yeah. Made it through Zardoz. Yeah, I don't. I mean, that movie like starts strong and it trickles out. What's Zardoz? It. Uh, what is Zardoz? That, that's a very good question. We can start off uh, by answering the simple question: What is Zardoz? Somebody Wait. Well, has. well, there's a there's a spoiler answer to that question. Um, you can play it to me because I've never seen it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just, just watch. If you haven't seen it, watch it. I mean, Zardaz is an experience. If you have seen it, what do we have to talk about? It, it's like Vietnam. You're just like, yeah, I saw action. I was, I was in the, the shit. shit. <laughs> uh, Sean what? Connery, this is after he has been James Bond. Yeah. And... He, I guess he had a reputation for a while, kind of not saying no to a lot of stuff. But like, I think he, I think everyone thought Zardoz was going to be the real deal. I think they thought it was going to be a goodie, right? I, yeah, there's no reason why. I, uh, yeah, I. On paper, what, what I find that to be a very compelling movie for the first like 30 minutes. I, 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 I'm very, very interested in like, like, like the. There's a, there's a, there's a modern kind of cogent version of that movie that I think is very important. Truly, because like g characters like Gilgamesh in ancient stories, like they're just mortals who proceed into the realm of immortality and with questions, with like shit to conquer. They go like, "Why is this thunder clapping? Why did my friend die? What what's going on? Why did a cheetah jump on my my my, my sister?" But it, his only and they go to the ends yeah. of the earth. They, they, they we, we're used to these stories where people climb beanstalks and we shrug it off. We don't we don't we don't look at that and go a beanstalk. That's stupid. Um, like, like, like th th these characters, like they would just walk to the edge of the earth, which we thought existed, and then they would jump off it, and then like an eagle would pick them up, and then the, and the eagle would go, "What are you doing?" And they're like, oh, "You heard me, motherfucker! I want to talk to Apollo." And they'd go, "All right, well, I'm just following orders." And like, like you'd have interactions with these confusing, weird forces of 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 uh, that, that at the time were characterizations of something that, that that people didn't understand. They didn't invent monotheism yet. We still thought that everything unexplained had to have a different personality to it. So like, like, like we had it was amazing that we had these stories about it. So Sean Connery. And this thing, he's a he he's he's this noble savage that that uh, he's not noble. What am I talking about? He, he he's a he's a he's a primitive savage who's who who like this stone head comes down every day and goes like I'm Zardoz. Here's your guns and it pukes up all these guns to him and all his friends. And he jumps in the mouth of the stone head and yeah, hitches yeah, yeah. a ride with there, there it. There are these brutals that live out like like these people. This sounds like the greatest movie yeah. of all time. Well, <laughs> it's the greatest. It's the greatest. A single greatest beginning with, of a movie that's ever existed. It, it, it starts off with a big head that looks like a big like like gumdrop, a stone gumdrop, and it's got a big like, like like kabuki face. And it comes in and goes, I'm Zardoz, the, the gun is good, the penis is evil, and vomits guns. And Wait, like, it says the penis is evil? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, it says the penis shoots seed, which creates life, which, which horrifies the earth. The gun cleanses it of life. The, the gun, gun is good. The yes. gun shoots death, yeah, yeah. The penis shoots seed, the gun shoots death. And so it's the, basically, it's a, it's a, I mean, it, it's not a direct metaphor for U.S. foreign policy, but it's like... <laughs> It's, 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 you know, Dan, this was written right after the uh, the Gulf of Tonkin affair. It's an exploration of any form of hegemony, where like like because like, what it turns out is that these rich people who live because because wait, is this a spoiler now? Sean Connery hitches a ride. You this, can't spoil this the stone head in the first in the first ten minutes of this movie. This head that pukes guns up to these poor and people and says the penis is evil and says the penis is evil. Go shoot all the people that are reproducing. And it has glitter rhinestone eyes. Sean Connery <laughs> shoots the camera. Camera, turns and shoots the camera, what representing his self-awareness. And then um, he goes, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, 
After after the title he sequence. Says, Fuck you, Roger Moore. <laughs> after the title sequence, Sean Connery emerges from a pile of grain inside the mouth of the stone head. He has hitched a ride inside his own god. He shoots the guy who controls it. The head rides on autopilot back to the suburban Silver Lake uh, village where this guy lived. And in the first eight minutes of this movie, you're watching Sean Connery with bandolier straps on and a red, red loincloth and, and a red. braided ponytail walking around a two-bedroom apartment in Silver Lake <laughs> looking through music boxes of a, the, the guy that created his world and going like, like, like what the fuck? And he doesn't know. His whole life has just been raped and shooting and he, he barely has language for it and he's looking at the apartment of this guy it turns out all of life is just a fucking farce but unlike Gilgamesh Zardoz or Sean Connery's only blunder is that he emerged into a future realized in the early 70s of filmmaking yeah. where it, 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 it turns into a really bad community theater production of Pippin and, 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 and uh, everybody is getting new like doing little yeah. hand gestures well everything everything eventually falls apart there's too much too much commentary on what was happening at at that point in the 70s. It's too much, too much like, well, yeah, well, well, boy, pet rocks today. What's next? Pet boulders? Um, it's like, well, no one's going to care about pet rocks in uh, 2013 who are watching this. But, but, but uh, yeah, like, like transcendental meditation, is, you know, it's a, like, like, obviously it was, a, it was a movie of its time. But the thing, that, the thing that carries through, I think, is a bunch of rich, privileged people, uh, you know, who have achieved immortality, which is all our goal, and then these poor people are being created by them. One person's in charge of them, like a commissioner or a mayor is in charge of a basin of fucking or poor a people. Or troller. Um, and, uh, and one of them pops into the immortal world and is walking around, and he's like sort of part Frankenstein, part... It's kind of Matrixy too, doesn't it? And, there's, and, there's, and, there, and there, there's a scene where he's at a party, and they're scanning his brain, and there's his... All his rapes and murders that he's committed are on a screen behind him, and all these fashionable. But now, are rapes? If it's a rape murder, does that count as two, or, yes, or is this not the important question here? Uh, and they're uh, and they're on like they're at an art gallery, and they're commenting on it and talking about it. And well, well I think he's gauche. Well, I think he's post gauche. You know, it's it's. And it's then, 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 then they try to get him. They're like uh, this 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 br- this brutal. Uh, uh, savage uh, th- has a vestigial quality uh, that uh, whether he can uh, uh, the, uh, his penis can c- uh, achieve tumescence and become rigid in, a, in, a, in an erection. Uh, Wait, with, so they don't get boners? Yeah, yeah they, they can't. They've because, been, they, 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 because they're immortal. They don't. Re- they don't need to reproduce. They, can't, they can't die, so they cannot get a heart. They're out. actually immortal, not yeah. like poetically immortal. But yeah. they punish you if you fuck up in the society and you do anything bad. They can punish you by aging you five years, and eventually you'll die. No, you, eventually you you will never die. Oh, you eventually you'll be senile. You become senile forever. You'll be an old person and then... Become a renegade. Yeah. Or a renegade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ren- renegade are the crazy senile people. Or, yeah. you, or, you can be, or you can become an apathetic and be sexy but stupid. And, and they're in a permanent kind of New Year's Eve party where they're wearing tuxes like read as the Oscars um, where they're all just like popping champagne and kind of stumbling around with their prosthetic makeup but they, they show it's, it's, it's pretty funny that they because uh, they have a little thing they have a ring where they can make a little computer and it's a lot like Siri it's a lot like an iPhone where they're like hey uh, what's this it's a flower for what for decoration oh yeah. thank you Siri that's nice and, uh, and, you, can, and you can put like you can you know put a little screen up on the wall like, like a projector it's pretty groovy, but then they're trying to prove that they can get this guy hard. So all these ladies are standing around in their in their pastel robes. Sean Connery. Sean Connery yeah. standing there in a red diaper, <laughs> diaper, short shorts, like so like American Apparel, like lady short shorts. <laughs> and red. he's got his balding man ponytail. He's got a ponytail with a slight, slight, uh, slight receding hairline, uh, a handlebar mustache, and and knee high uh, like Captain Cook bo- uh, 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 boots on. How have I missed this movie? <laughs> I don't know. It's a mistake. It's so good. It's, yeah, it's, it's nuts. Uh, but th- so th- then they start showing him porn, like, uh, watch this. We're, I'm going to show you a man get a boner. And all the, all the ladies are standing around, like, oh, I've never seen that before. And the first thing they show is just a tits. Like, yeah, soapy titties. So the woman is like soaping up her titties, like in a big, like, tight frame. Like, it's, it, it, it works as modern porn. I'm sure yeah, no, it was hot. Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> it, uh, like, like, the soapy titties was trans, yeah. like, like. And like, they were like, if and I then, have, and then everybody. Because at first I wanted to mock it. I was like, soapy titties. Like and then I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, 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 I felt a little tingle. I felt a little tingle. Because I, I always thought, I always assumed that so, so a woman like soap, like like rubbing her boobs with soapy water was like, 
that that was just like the same thing as a woman laying on the hood of a Ferrari. It was just like a needless, like stylistic no, thing. It's like, necessary. And at, awesome. the, at the at the end of the, at the end of the day, a naked lady's a naked lady. Like 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 kind of like who care? Like like the idea that high heels are so. Oh no, the activity like, effect. Wow. Okay. Right. Soap. So yeah, but, but but he looks at that one and nothing happens when he kind of shakes it off like Fernando Valenzuela. Like that that, that pitch isn't good. <laughs> and then they show another one of just two women in mud, and that was notably less sexy. Yeah, that one. And then it, you notice that that uh, Sean Connery is just staring at the woman who's kind of been the the, the negative Nelly. About, like, like she hates him. The she's most. not in the mud pit. No, no, she's she's she's, she's putting on the presentation. She's the curator. She's and then the... everyone's eyes kind of cast down, and he's standing there completely stone faced, just looking at the woman, and clearly has got a boner. You, well, you hear like, you hear oh, the, com- the, the the boner computer go boop 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 boop. boop, boop. <laughs> How have I not seen this movie? None of none of your descriptions, and you've been describing it collectively for about twenty minutes, maybe. Oh God, I hope no not. No single minute of that makes it sound like anything less than well, the best movie Chris, ever made. Chris McKenna, one of Dan's writers in Community and lovely fellow, uh, put disease in Zardoz last night. <laughs> he was snoring all the way. Well, through. it is. A, it's like a fishing lure. Like the head of it is the has its impact, and then it just tapers off into this like lullaby. I I can't believe there hasn't been a t-shirt with a stone-faced guy with glowing eyes that says, the penis is evil. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there is. I'm certain there is. There's gotta uh, be. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I, it's, 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 it's 106 minutes. Uh, it's definitely worth watching. Wait, in a so world the rest where of the movie is him in the immortal people world? Most of it, yeah. He, 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 the movie basically starts with him penetrating that veil, yeah. And and, 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 and and as the movie continues, it reveals more truths in a Shyamalan in kind of way that really only served to disappoint because actually the story I was invested in was a savage kind of naively bounding into this world and interacting with the immortals. But uh, it turns out oh, it's all a big thing. Uh, and it kind of it gets increasingly transcendental and increasingly 70s. What's, uh, what's the big... You, we can say spoiler alert and then tell me what the big... Is that okay if we tell... It's Zardoz. You haven't yeah. seen it in 40 years. No, I'm telling you, it's too much. It's too much a component of the enjoyment of the movie. If, okay, for people who haven't seen the movie, the spoiler, the the big spoiler, which actually means not. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's not important to the plot of the film. You can film, say but it's it such a, a yeah. delicious, ridiculous spoiler. No, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. Let them enjoy. Watch okay. the fucking movie. It's the one reward for watching yeah. that thing. <laughs> all right, all right, enough. Uh, enough. All right, Spencer, how how you been, man? Yeah, you know, Zardoz, I thought that uh, that whole reveal was kind of, you know, it was worth it. But really, was I invested? I mean, there was the renegades and there was the apathetics. But at the end of the day, I mean, it really peaked with the whole penis. I didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> you've never seen it. Did that sound good? You, you've never seen it? Yeah, no, not at all. Ah, you just, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go. I got, yeah, I had a, I had a work meeting. Um, that night I was going to go, you know, head over. You but. never have to have an excuse to have not watched Zardoz. <laughs> I would have enjoyed seeing it. It's it, good. That, yeah, that it, it, it slows all the way down, though. It has, that se- it has that, that 70s patience. Like, Rollerball starts off like the best movie you've ever seen. James Conn's in a roller derby competition with a big metal ball and everyone has spikes on. And it's Ben Hur and like, what the fuck? This is the best. And then there's like 45 minutes of people at a cocktail party, like, yeah. like light a tree on Blowing fire. up trees. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah, well, that's the 70s for you. It's like, it was like, like, on one hand, you did, it was like Harmon Town. You have no idea, you have no, no guarantees. Like, you don't, you don't know. Like, 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 like Robin Williams shows up I drop my pants I confess to uh, bisexuality uh, playing with matches who knows Ow! you might you might sh- <laughs> that's the same Zardoz guy the bisexual pyromaniac yeah. uh, the, the, the is that, is that on Tyler? the other hand it could just is be a he, boring show that's just t- everything every, all the cheers are from Tyler he's just I don't know what you're talking about he's ja- jamming on e-nicotine right now <laughs> yeah, he's, a, no. he's been smoking those I, 18 milligram dude you, I'm gonna give you a throat hit in a second man <laughs> But if you re- if you read that uh, Easy Rider's Raging Bulls story, it's the story of that 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 Cinescape changing. But you were saying, partly joking, that that as soon as they blew up the shark in Jaws, uh, that, th- that is the point when movies became. I mean, we were all born into. Certainly, these people, even me, were born into a world that had been pre jaws Like like we don't we movies are part of our government. It's the fifth estate. You know, it's 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 it is a, it is our religion. We go to these temples and we study these things, and and they are there's a prerequisite for these things that they have to have a third act. Um, uh, the Death Star's got to blow up. The shark's got to blow up. The the the, the people got to go home feeling like there's a purpose in their life. 
Um, and and the, but there was a point before that when you know it was like, hey, it's just a movie, what, whatever. It's just another way to make money. You could buy a Styx album, or you might go to see this thing. It's got Gene Hackman in it. He eats some chocolate. He jerks off in a cup, and then he shoots himself. <laughs> that sounds like a third act. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That, the that, chocolate that, and the suicide? Yeah, no, that, that, that's the French connection, right? <laughs> uh, I'll recommend. I'll one, never tell. I'll recommend one movie from the 70s that's really, really awesome that a lot of people haven't seen. It's this movie called uh, Abominable Dr. Fibes. It's a uh, Vincent Price movie. Oh, it's, yeah, his, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's his best role. It's an amazing movie that you were, like you were saying, it's a product of its time, definitely. Like well, let's it make that the assignment. assignment. Let's watch. Uh, I've never seen it. Let's watch it. The Abominable Dr. Fives is fucking awesome. It's one yeah. of my favorite movies. All right, watch uh, that for next I, week, Herman, Hermenians. I'm sure Shrab has it. I, I think we watched it there, and you, know, you probably fell asleep. Might be harder to come by. Probably not on iTunes. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, what I it's, think it is. All right. So, so is it Mr. <laughs> Kevin <laughs> iTunes? The, up? the Abominable Dr. Fives. The Abominable. Watch the first one. Don't watch Dr. Fives Rises Again. <laughs> watch the first one. <laughs> is that a joke? No. Oh, it's shit. the real. <laughs> I think it's great, but you've got to start where it starts. 